Amber Alert for a missing Katie girl. Three headlines coming out of this story today. As of right now, at 6 o'clock, Adriana Coronado has been missing for 89 hours, last seen Saturday at 1 a.m. Also new tonight, her mother is not coming back from Mexico. She says that she fears for her safety. And the FBI is now involved. Tonight, we are getting a better idea of the role that the FBI agents may have in this case. Our Sion Rhodes spoke with a former agent about what could be happening behind the scenes. Sion? And Dominique, we know that the FBI has a special child abduction task force working on this case, but they also have something else that Walker County does not, and that is access to Mexico, where the family moved from just two years ago. Where is Adriana Coronado? The search for the Maid Creek High School student now in its second full day with no sign of the teen. The key is why was there an interest in the bad guys in the father to begin with? Former FBI agent Bob Dogan believes the investigation of the girl's whereabouts will likely center on her murdered father. If you can connect those dots back to the father, you have a much better chance at beginning to understand or, or, or beginning to develop leads on where the little girl may be. The family moved from Monterey, Mexico to the Houston area two years ago. That's where most of his history, if you will, is from. Dogum says that's where federal officials can help Walker County. The Bureau has excellent relationships already. They have people obviously assigned uh, to the embassy uh, in, in, in Mexico and, and in different areas throughout uh, the country of Mexico where agents are assigned, where leads, any leads that may be developed stateside could be immediately shared with uh, uh, FBI personnel in country. Adriana's mother tells Channel 2 her husband worked as a carpenter for several Houston area businesses and that he had lots of friends but no enemies that she knew of. Dogum says whatever led to this, time is running out. As time goes by, um, uh, leads become a little uh, more scarce um, and, and you're always uh, perhaps a, a, a step behind. And you're urged to contact the Walker County Sheriff's Office if you know anything about this case. Live in Katie, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you.